Stock markets crashing worldwide. In the US we saw the third largest single day point drop in the stock market history. Italy is being isolated in Europe. Venice Carnival cancelled. The Giorgio Armani fashion show cancelled. Tourism industry collapsing. The economy engine of Italy, which is the northern part of the country, is being shut down. The north counts for 40% of the Italian exports and 50% of the GDP. The Italian economy is melting down. The Italian government is racing to contain the biggest outbreak of the virus in Europe, imposing restrictions on about 100,000 people and shutting down public gatherings in two regions of northern Italy. With two new cases reported today from southern and central Italy. Italy's northern regions of Lombardy and Veneto have closed schools, universities, museums, and cinemas for at least a week. Police are manning checkpoints around 11 towns which have been quarantined for 15 days, and residents are stockpiling food. Public places like theaters and movie theaters, pubs, and clubs need to close at 6 o'clock in the evening and open up at 6 o'clock the following morning. Supermarket shelves are becoming empty. Italian officials confirm seven deaths. And there is still no news about who could be the patient zero. In northern Italy, the number of coronavirus cases continues to surge. Even though at least 10 hotspot towns are effectively under lockdown. Police check vehicles trying to enter one of the quarantine towns authorizes only trucks carrying essential goods and medical supplies to go through. Everyone else is turned away in an effort to contain the spread of the coronavirus. Ironically, Italy being the only European country to ban entry from Chinese nationals and anyone who's been in China, is the one hit hardest by the virus. In the rest of Europe and in the world, fewer cases were recorded just because no country is doing as many checks as Italy is doing. But this doesn't mean that the virus is not already next to you. It has been around the world for weeks. I just cannot believe that Italy is hit harder by the corona than countries like Canada, the US, and Australia, where millions of Chinese live. How many coronavirus deaths are reported just as simple flu or pneumonia casualties? That's the danger with this virus, especially that people can spread the virus before they get ill themselves and show signs of being infected. Yes, the authorities might slow the spreading but, stop it. No way. That would require people to stop traveling, meeting, and shopping. The virus won't be stopped until they find a cure, or all people grow resistant. This is a worldwide pandemic, why is it taking them so long to admit it? I think the worse is still to come. Welcome back to the Atlantis Report. Please take some time to subscribe to my two backup channels. I do upload videos there, too, on a daily basis. You'll find the links in the description box. Thank you. Fears are growing that the coronavirus outbreak could become a pandemic as new cases are reported around the world. The virus, which emerged in China, has spread to at least 35 countries. The World Health Organization has said the world should do more to prepare for a possible coronavirus pandemic. The worst hit countries are intensifying their efforts to contain the deadly coronavirus as the number of cases globally surpassed 80,000. In South Korea, infections have risen again, taking the total to 977. Americans have been warned against all but essential travel to the nation. Italy and Iran are both battling to contain outbreaks of the virus. In Japan, shares slumped on Tuesday, reacting to a global plunge on Monday sparked by fear of further outbreaks. Fears are growing that it won't be possible to stop the global spread of coronavirus. Health experts have warned that the chances of containing it are diminishing as cases appear in more countries. Most infections are still in China, but significant clusters in South Korea, Iran, and Italy are causing concern. Italy has Europe's worst coronavirus outbreak, the third highest in the world after China and South Korea. In Milan, the Duomo Cathedral that's withstood 500 years is now closed. Schools and universities are shut off, and in supermarkets, panic is spreading quicker than the virus, and it is too as hard to stem. Is coronavirus the black swan for the Italian economy? The real risks for the Italian economy caused by the panic of the epidemic are incalculable. Lombardy alone is worth 22% of GDP and cannot be kept locked for long. Without considering the manufacturing, tourism, and luxury, where the Chinese support is fundamental. The economists damage the discount that even the first 2020 will be negative, which means technical recession and a screening of minus 1% throughout the year. 
The technical recession took almost for granted after the minus 0.3% of the fourth quarter and 2020 going towards negative growth, with estimates between minus 0.5% and minus 1%. These are the first data provided by economists on the impact of coronavirus infections in Italy. If the situation does not resolve itself quickly, a 1% drop in GDP this year is plausible. So the economy already pays the price of uncertainty and health psychosis. To get some clarification on what could happen in Italy downstream of the epidemic from COVID-19, that is, on the real risks to the economy triggered by an irrational panic, perhaps it would be useful to consult Richard Toller, one of the masters of behavioral economics. But without getting to a Nobel Prize perhaps for now, just remember the theory of the black swan, the unforeseen event that upsets everything, from production to the stock exchange. To understand what happens in the north of Italy that is pulling an already weak GDP. We must look at the behavior of people. Yesterday morning Milan was no longer Milan. Empty streets, obviously due to the closure of schools and universities. But also because people avoided meeting places, but not the supermarkets. Between Saturday and Sunday, crowds of citizens poured into the large markets, stormed, and continuously supplied resulting in empty shelves, especially those of canned food, as if you imagined having to stay at home for a long time, among other things, on the web, they run fake videos on false closings for a month. These images made the tour of Italy, not without effects, even in Rome, the shelves are empty. This is only the last mile of collective behavior that for a month has already concerned masks and hand sanitizer, down to supplements, all hunted first in pharmacies then on the net. A chain effect of overlap of events and an avalanche of comments, which chased each other with the decisions of the authorities, trigger a media political circuit that at the beginning and for a while was a source of serious confusion. It was not clear who had to make the decisions and especially what decisions. But in the meantime, the psychological effect has started and slowly Milan has emptied and turned into a ghost town since yesterday afternoon, all closed or almost closed. Not just offices, schools, and universities. There are no students in the nightlife areas near Cadorna or near the Navili. There are no cinemas, the meeting points of the usual aperitifs, the bars for after work, and above all a great absentee. The Scala Theatre is locked for the whole week. The cancellation of fairs and events followed one another. The Milan prosecutor has closed the offices to the public while the activity of the municipality of Milan continues, even if behind closed doors. At the few meeting points, people comment on the difficulty of going to work without schools and kindergartens were to leave children. And they will be the ones missing this week, that of the Ambrosian Carnival, which would have colored the streets and entertained with parties in every square of Milan until next Sunday. No masquerades this year. In these hours, the controversy among the most prominent virologists has a bitter taste, especially between the well-known Roberto Barioni, pro-vax superstar, and Maria Rita Gismondo, laboratory manager of the Sacco di Milano, the heart of the Lombard emergency, the flagship of European virology. Two different visions on how to judge the effects of the phenomenon, and can only judge those who have the titles, it is always said, that have contributed in no small way to disorientate the citizens, who mostly do not detach themselves from smartphones in direct news on the source of the virus. The fourth quarter of 2019 had already closed with a negative sign, and as regards the first quarter of 2020, it is presumable to believe that it will be the same, thus bringing the country technically into recession, since it will have recorded two quarters with negative growth. The impact of the spread of the coronavirus in Italy, until now limited to the northern regions, will undoubtedly be very important on the economy of the country. The fact that the most important regions in the contribution to the gross domestic product have been affected will obviously have an even more negative effect on this scenario. What we currently do not know exactly is the size of this impact, although the very first estimates speak negative growth for the first quarter of between 0.5% and 1% annualized. In fact, today a large part of the country's production and commercial activities are stopped, with consequences that are certainly still very uncertain. For example, we think of the consequences on tourism, and therefore the picture will be clearer only in the coming weeks, when however we hope that the situation will have stabilized or will hopefully be improving, underlines the analyst. European and of the Italian stock markets collapse, cannot, therefore, be considered as a surprise, given the succession of negative news and the drastic measures taken by the Italian government in an attempt to stem the spread of the virus. 
The sentiment of investors in the very short term is destined to remain negative on the global price lists, and therefore not only on the domestic one, given the situation of enormous uncertainty. The contagions have also increased in other countries, not only in Italy, and we cannot obviously exclude that other European countries may also register a much higher number of infected people than the current one. Volatility is therefore destined to remain high and to be closely related to the news that will be communicated day by day. Just as we can expect volatility to remain high on the Italian stock market, the same can be said to happen for Italian government bonds. In a more medium-term perspective, however, we remember that the decidedly accommodative monetary policy of the ECB European Central Bank can represent an obstacle to the excessive widening of the spread, together with the fact that the search for yield in a world with negative rates especially in the euro area, it could be of advantage to the BTP when, hoping it will be very soon, the situation will have improved. The only positive note is from the gold side. The price surges today to $1,635 an ounce. And prices are expected to go way higher in the foreseeable future. Do not forget that I warned you that gold is the only safe haven in this kind of situation. This was the Atlantis Report. Please like. Share. Subscribe. And please take some time to subscribe to my two backup channels, I do upload videos there too on a daily basis. You'll find the links in the description box. Thank you.